Hello beautiful people, I'm Raish Phoenix and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I make this spicy chicken pasta salad. If you'd like to see, just keep watching. To start off with this recipe, I already grabbed all the ingredients I'm going to need to season the chicken with. So that's going to be olive oil, dry white wine, salt, and black pepper. I like to put everything in a Ziploc bag because it makes it a lot easier to clean up later. First, I'm putting 3 tablespoons of olive oil in the bag. After that, it's 2 tablespoons of dry white wine. Then 2 teaspoons of salt. And finally, one teaspoon of black pepper. Then I'm gonna mix all the ingredients in the bag, kind of moving it from side to side, and I'm gonna close the bag and keep it off to the side. Moving on to the chicken, I'm gonna wash it off and clean it with water and lemon juice. The way I'm going to be cutting the chicken is going to be kind of into like kind of cubes. So I'm starting off with making the entire chicken breast into slices and then from those slices I'll cut it into smaller pieces from there. Once I'm done, I'm going to put all the chicken into the Ziploc bag and kind of like squish it around, mix it up or whatever, and then I'm keeping it to the side again since I'm going to be cooking it in a couple minutes. And here's the pot that I'm going to be putting on medium heat for the pasta that I'm going to be making or macaroni. It's like the spiral macaroni. It's about 16 ounces of macaroni that I'm going to be cooking. And I believe this is four quarts of water. Honestly, I don't think I needed that much water. I was following the box, but I feel like I could have done like half of that pot worth of water. But um, I guess just gauge it for yourself. See how much water you need depending on how much pasta you're making or how much macaroni you're making. But yeah. So I have my skillet now on half heat for the chicken and I'm going to be putting two stalks of celery and two stalks of scallions or green onions that I will be chopping up in a few. And after they're washed off, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my surface just to make sure that it's not like soaking wet. And then with the skillet, I'm gonna be actually putting butter instead of olive oil to cook the chicken with. I just, it does something magical. I don't know what it is, but I like putting butter. So I'm putting butter into the hot surface and just making sure that it is evenly coated. And since the skillet is ready, I'm just gonna plop the chicken in there, y'all. Like, we're, we're just gonna cook it. But I'm gonna make sure after I put all the chicken in that all of them are sitting like flat on one side because I wanna make sure everything cooks evenly. So I'm just going in and making sure that everything is evenly covered in the surface of the pot. 
And back to our little chopping area, I'm grabbing a quarter of an onion. Checking on the chicken, I noticed that it was starting to get white on one side, so I'm just going in and flipping everything onto the other side so that can cook evenly. I know that I could have used like, I don't know, like a, some other type of cooking utensil to flip everything easier, but I don't know, there's something about being particular and going in with a fork that makes me happy, y'all. Moving back to the onion, I'm just cutting off the trash or the part of it we don't need and throwing that out and then I'm just going to go straight into cutting it up into small cubes. I'm going back into the chicken and just checking to make sure that all of it is completely white and cooked through and then once I've confirmed that it is cooked and done, we're turning that burner off. And just in time, our water started boiling for the macaroni, so I'm just going to move the chicken off to the side and I'm going to just start by pouring in the entire pound of macaroni. I'm just using the spoon to make sure that the water doesn't splash up while I'm putting everything in there. And once everything's in, I'm just gonna go in and give it like one good spin because I don't want any of the pasta to be sticking to one section of the pot. Trust me, I've burnt a lot of pasta by not stirring it soon enough. So just make sure you're checking on it regularly and just going in and spinning and um, or stirring more so and just making sure that it's cooking thoroughly through. And here I am just like checking on the quality of the pasta. So I'm constantly checking to see if like it's how to describe it like to check how soft it is because I like my macaroni to be a certain type of soft so I'm just making sure that it's okay and um yeah we're multitasking guys like you see like we're chopping we're stirring we're chopping we're stirring yeah y'all get the hint y'all see what I'm doing like just chop everything make sure that macaroni is cooked y'all like like check it check on it at this point, I have the onion and the green onion already chopped up, so I'm just moving on to the celery. So I'm cutting lengthwise down the stalk, and then from there, I will be chopping it up into smaller pieces. So everything I'm chopping up into pretty much like smaller cubes. Like I don't want a huge chunk while I'm eating the pasta of any of those foods, so I'm just making sure that it's chopped up really nicely. And for the pasta, it's now cooked to the... Um, softness that I like so I just turn the burner off and I'm moving it to the side. And still working on the celery over here so I'm just doing kind of like a let's call it like an overhand cut like I'm, I'm being very careful with this guys like I'm making sure that my hand is on top of the knife and the knife is going straight down and then from there I'll hold like the front part of the knife and then use my other hand to kind of turn and chop through it and once everything is chopped up this is what it looks like. And a close-up of her chicken. She's looking good. She's looking tasty. She's looking right. And I drained the pasta already because draining it and showing it on camera is going to be very hella difficult. So here it is drained and ready to go. So this is the part where it gets real and we put all of our ingredients together. So I'm starting off with adding the chicken. So as I'm putting the chicken in, I'm mixing a little because I want to make sure that it's evenly mixed. I don't want too much chicken to be on one side. So I'm just adding a little and mixing. Then I'm adding in all the vegetables that we chopped up from before. And 
and I'm grabbing a 15 fluid ounce bottle of organic mayonnaise. So overall, I'd say I used about three quarters of this in the entire pasta. Again, this is one of those things where I feel like it's really up to you. Like, add some, taste it, add some more if you need it, and taste it. Like, check how much you need in this recipe because it's very much like a up to how you like it type of thing. And I was hella lazy about washing things later, so I just went in with a knife. I could have grabbed a spoon, but the knife will do. Then I'm going in with sriracha hot chili sauce, and I'd say overall I added about like maybe a tablespoon. But again, it, it's up to how much you want. Like there's a possibility you might want it to be a little bit spicier and you end up adding more, but definitely put a little bit in, mix it, taste it, see how it is. It's definitely like a two taste type of recipe. And here's our finished product in all of her glory. Like, we did it guys, like here's the salad and it's done. Like, look at that, like, she's ready, like it's delicious, it's spicy, but then you have the, the kick and the flavor of the chicken, like it's all good y'all, like we did it, we did it. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Bless up, and until next time, sending out much peace, love, and enlightenment. Bye, guys.